20 here in this devotional, it says, um, getting along with other, and it's, It says it's easy to task to get along with other people because we are all so different. We have different backgrounds, different schools, different upbringings, different past experience, different opinions, various on certain issues, and we have different ideas on different subjects. It's not easy to be at peace with with those who disagree with us even on minor issues. Nonetheless, the Holy Spirit, the written of St. Paul said to live Peacefully with all men, we do not have to agree with everyone about everything. We don't have to. We don't have to respect their opinions, but we must ex respect them as a human being who have been created in the image and likeness of God. General rules for getting along with people: take genuine interest in other people. Read Philippians chapter, second chapter, verse 20, verse 21. Never use cheap flattery to win flavor. Read First Thessalonians 2 and 5. Watch out. For anyone who tells you lies and flatters, they are out of getting to you. Proverbs twenty six twenty eight. Never rebuke and never rebuke an older person harshly. See First Timothy five and one. Avoid foolishness and stupid arguments. Read Second Timothy two twenty three. Always offer hospitality without grumbling. Read First Peter four nine. Never embrace one another. Never embrace another person for any reason. Human arrested David's official and had beard shaved off on the side of their face. He had their robes cut off just because it was wasted. Wasted, and then he sent them away. They were terrible astonished. Second Samuel ten verse Second Samuel ten verses four through five. Lord, let your conversation always be full of grace. Corin read Corinthians four verses six in your Bible. Always say thanks to one who has helped you. One of them when he saw the that he said he came back to Jesus shooting shouting praises God Appreciate others, people's focus on their good points. Don't praise, brag, or don't praise or brag about yourself to others. Don't brag about yourself. Let others praise you. Proverbs 27, verses 2. Always be secure, never be phony. Read Romans 12, verses 9. Speak words of encouragement and strength. To others, see Acts fifteen thirty two. Do not be unjustly cr critical of others. 
You cannot speak in your friend's eyes, but you don't notice long in your own eyes. How can you say, my friend, let me take the speak out of your eyes when you don't see the log in your eyes? You show off first. Get the log off your own eyes. Then you can can see how to take the speak out of your eyes. Out of your friend's eyes, Luke 6, verse 42. Luke chapter 6, verse 41, 42. Do not talk too much. Stay away from gossip. Till they tell everything. Read Proverbs 20, verses 19. And I want to go back. And say this, and I'm going to put people out on for Front Street today because that's what I feel in the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is leading me to this. But when people try to argue with you about what the Holy Spirit tells them, when they tell you don't do this, don't, you went, y'all, and see this thing, I have an issue with the, with, with some Baptist people that, they try to act like they're God, they're Jesus, they're the, they're the creator, they have all authority. Sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. You don't have no authority to be talking about another preacher of the gospel. You can't even get out your comfort zone. You're so scared. Ooh, no, I'm not going to there. I'm not going there. I'm not doing that. No, you got to get out your comfort zone before you can start bashing other pe people, whether they be a woman pastor, whether, be the, whether they be a man pastor. You don't need to be bashing people. And I can bash you right to the gates of hell because there's a lot of you out there in society who think that you you doing everything right and you ain't doing nothing right. You can bang the Bible all you want. Bang, bang, tang, tang. Dance on a dance on a um dance on a on a walkway and what's gonna happen? You're gonna crack that road open because you're you're the one who's blind. You're the one who's a hypocrite. You're the one who's a liar thief and a robber. So you wonder why things aren't going the way that they're going. Because that's what you are. But like I always tell people, be careful of people who speak uh, who speak dam damnable things over your life. Be careful. Because them same people, they gonna say some, uh, some hypocrite stuff. They're going to say some shady stuff. Oh, I love you. No, all that's fake. Don't come to me with your fake stuff. But you trying to ridicule other people. People going to ridicule you right to hell too. That's why I tell people, don't put your mouth on no person. I don't care what they are, what title they hold. Title don't mean crap. So... I just want y'all to be careful. Be careful of these false preachers who think they're anointed. They going to hell too. Because they ain't anointed. And to be honest, I feel bad for people. But if you are a preacher's kid and you think, Oh, hmm, I got to obey that. I, I can't. No. You can do whatever you want. So... Just be careful and don't listen. I'm telling you the truth. Do not listen to these some of these Baptist preachers. Some of these Baptist preachers are sending you all to hell. You're sitting under their authority and some of these uh, Pentecostal uh, holiness church preachers are going to hell too. I'm not trying to be exclude nobody out but they are because if, if they ain't got the right spirit you got to get along with everybody that's what the bible said i didn't write the bible jesus wrote the bible so you take that up with him so all right y'all 
I hope you have a great day. I should talk to y'all later. Bye. And remember this. To get along with every person. May God bless you. Bye-bye now.